what is your purpose in this life? And have you ever asked yourself, what is really the duty of man? Good morning and welcome to One Truth with Lesaid. And here we are building families for eternity. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am so delighted that you have joined us today. And here we will keep you motivated and encouraged daily. If you are new or you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so and turn on the notifications by clicking the bell button below so that each time I upload, you get notified and not miss out of any of the One Truth presentations. To be rich is not a sin. It is a good thing and I also desire to be rich one day. But now if one starts to prioritize money more than God, that is where there is a problem. People spend sleepless nights in search of money. Why is that most of the rich people ain't happy in their lives? For instance, some husbands as they are in search of money tend to neglect their wives. Always on business trips, don't have time for the family and the marriages break down. As a result, they can't be happy on themselves. How can one enjoy money alone? Is that possible? Some when they have money, they can't sit down at home. They desire to have many women to spend with in search of happiness. Solomon asked for wisdom and God blessed him with wisdom. Whatsoever he desired, he had it. He increased in wealth more than anyone in Jerusalem. He planted himself vineyards. He built himself houses and pools. And also if he desired to have someone coming to sing for him, they will come and sing for him. But now the question is, was he happy in his life? Looking at the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 17, he writes, Therefore I hated life because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me, for all is vanity and vexation of the spirit. Have you ever asked yourself, what is really your purpose in this life? And are you living according to the expectations of the purpose of life? Let us read from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. And we are to understand that fearing God and keeping his commandments, it goes along with what we read from the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So now, what is it that should be a priority in our lives? Let's quickly look at Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The one important thing is to seek God first and his righteousness. Whatsoever that we desire, God knows our needs and wants, and he will supply. Psalms 111 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. And lastly, looking at the book of Proverbs 9 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. In conclusion, what is it that you have treasured in your heart? Let's have a moment of prayer. Our kind and loving Father, we come before thy presence. We are so thankful, Lord, for the gift of life. We are so thankful, Lord, that you have given us another opportunity. While at least other people did not manage to see this day. And as to us, you have blessed us in a very special way. Lord, help us so that we might understand our purpose in this life, that we should only treasure you in our hearts. Help us, Lord, and bless each and every one, Lord, that is listening to this presentation. Guide them and their families, Lord. We want to be in heaven, the place that you have prepared only for the righteous. Help us, Lord, so that we might be the ones among that we inherit thy kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the good and loving Lord be with you. And for those who have got prayer requests, 
you are all invited to kindly send them on our WhatsApp number plus 27621655609 and we'll be happy to receive your prayers. One True Prayer Band group is always ready to pray with you and to pray for you. I look forward to seeing you on the next presentation and make sure that you subscribe.